Hello, welcome to my Android classroom. Today I'm going to talk about how to use ListView with Firebase. So it's going to be like this. And here is my Firebase console. When I click on the app button, the Apple string will be inserted to my Firebase database. And if I click on the item, the reference will be deleted according to the position. Okay, so let's build it. Here is my main layout. It is a relative layout as the root layout. And we have a list view and a floating action button at the bottom right corner. And for using this floating action button view, we need to import this dependency here. You can find it in the description below. Okay, so let's go back. And we give them unique IDs. So let's wire them up. So next, we are going to create our array adapter object, pass in the context and the data source fruits, and we create our data source here, which is a list string, and we initialize it. And here, I have already created my array adapter class with the view holder pattern. So if you are not familiar with this part, you can check out my previous video. Okay, so let's go back. Next, we set adapter to the list view. Okay, so next part, we are going to insert the value to our Firebase database. We set on click listener to the floating action button. And in here, we are going to interact with our Firebase. So we need the root reference first. Firebase. And we also create a trial reference called fruit reference. We give you a key. Fruit. So back to the onclick method, we are going to insert the value to the fruit reference. So we call push and then set value. Let's say apple, yeah. And with that, we just finish uh, the function of inserting the value to the Firebase database. And the next part, next part we are going to get the data back and display it into our list view. So we press Ctrl and O, type in on start, and we use the fruit reference to add the value event change listener to listen for the data change of the fruit reference. And in here we again use the for each loop to the snapshot. And uh, for each element we're getting back from the Firebase, we insert it into our local data source, which is the fruit. So we add trial snapshot no, get value by passing the data type. And after finish uh, data loading, we need to refresh our list view. But we need the 
adapter object first. So make it for for accessing the adapter object here, we need to make it as a global variable. So adapter notify data set change. But don't forget um don't forget to clear our local data source each time we're getting the newest data from the Firebase. So let's try. Perfect. So the next part, we are going to delete the reference, the item, uh, according to the position we click. So we first set on item click listener to the this view, and we need the index. Um, before that, we need to cache the data snapshot into the global variable first. Uh, we call it fruit snapshot. Fruit snapshot. Okay. Fruit snapshot. So, fruit snapshot is our cloud data source, and the fruit is our local data source. We back to the on item click method. We use the for each loop again. The snapshot, but this time we are looping the fruit snapshot, and inside the for loop. We need to increase the index for each time. And when the index equals to the position we click, which is which is the I here, we can change it to position. Position. Then we are going to remove that reference. But the first we need the reference. Name it current fruit reference red child snapshot get red so that we can remove it yeah that's it let's run Okay, let's try the first one, and the third one, the second one, the last one, and the first one, and the last one. Yeah, perfect. So that's it. Hope you enjoy this lesson. See you next time.